Dave Meltzer also reported last Sunday's AEW Revolution likely to achieve the best pay-per-view numbers in company history and the best of any non-WWE show in the U.S. since 1999. Meltzer said while the linear pay-per-view buys are still unknown, and by the way, I mean, before you say, ah, there are not going to be any linear pay-per-view buys, no one watches on pay-per-view anymore, actually, you'd be stunned how many people are still paying full price for WWE pay-per-views on pay-per-view when they could just get the WWE Network and get it for $9.99. It's like, it was like 10% of the number of people that watch on the network paid Fifty-four ninety-five or whatever for WWE pay-per-view. So some people do buy on pay-per-view because maybe their internet hookup sucks. They got, you know, one up, one down on their upload and download. But whatever reason, I mean, there are still people that buy on pay-per-view. The BR Live numbers up more than 50% from full gear. International numbers up 20 to 40%. Last year's show did a company best 120,000 buys. Gross for this pay-per-view will be in excess of $6 million, likely closer to $7 million. AW takes home roughly 50% with their distribution partners. This, of course, is a show headlined by the exploding barbed wire death match. Final news note today, it is the ratings for AW and NXT, which are interesting because these ratings are, for both shows, both bad and also good. I'm going to tell you why. The bad news first, AW Dynamite coming off the Revolution pay-per-view, 743,000 viewers coming off the pay-per-view, down 20.5% from last week. Not good. NXT, keep in mind this is not an average NXT, this is an NXT with Finn Balor defending the men's title, Io Shirai defending the women's title, the gifting of the women's tag team titles, and then a title defense for the women's tag team titles where the titles changed hands. 691,000 viewers, down 1,000 viewers from the show last week. And two game-changing announcements. Neither of these numbers are good in terms of total viewers. Now, what is good, interestingly enough, is the demos for both shows. Dynamite, in 18-34, to 34, or 18-49, to 49, did a 0.32, which is only down 3% from last week, which still, it shouldn't be down, but number four on cable for AEW Dynamite. NXT did a .18, also down 10% from last week, but also number 25 on cable. So in terms of the demos, which is the most important, top five for AEW, top 25 for NXT, those are both good. In terms of total viewers, not good. So you can get mad about whatever you want or get happy about whatever you want. You got arguments both ways if you're one of those people that is passionate about these numbers right here. NXT regularly, and I, I feel I can fairly say regularly, I mean, for, for many weeks there, I mean, they were regularly not even getting into the top 50. Now, and they've been the top 25 the last couple of weeks, I believe, and NXT has been in the top 10 uh, quite consistently. So, my guess, and I guess all anyone can figure is at the South Park episode, uh, which was number one on cable, probably did siphon some viewers away from AW and NXT. If you look at the quarter hour ratings, the quarter hour numbers, it was another one of those weeks where it did not go up and down all night, nor did it start really high and collapse. It did start higher for NXT because they always have a strong lead and it kind of fell. But I mean, for most of the night... I mean, AEW was just consistent all night, and NXT was largely consistent all night. So they had a group of viewers that tuned in and watched the whole show on both AEW and NXT. But whatever whatever excess viewers above that can take you to 800,000, 900,000, uh, the Shaq match. And by the way, speaking of the Shaq match, interestingly enough, the opening match with Phoenix and... Uh, it was Phoenix and uh, um, Matt Jackson. Damn it. Anyway, I think it was 18 to 49. I'll get the exact demo here in a second, but they beat the demo for the Shaq match. Think about that. That was a very uh, controversial match. I know some people absolutely loved the match. I also know people that did not like the match. And whatever, whatever camp you fell into, the fact of the matter is, uh, for the demo... 
it actually drew better than Shaq did the week prior. And the Shaq match actually peaked, as far as total viewers, at 1.3 million viewers. So, very interesting numbers, and, uh, and that's that. So, if you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.